custom spec shocks that are actually engraved with the Missoula logo on the top. 37 inch BFG all terrain KO2s. Big part of Terra Crew, big part of why we do what we do. Garrett, you're, you're a diehard dude. Before we hop into this episode, we got some new gear out. We got this new hat right here, super stoked on it. And we got drive like hell. Let's check out the back of that thing. Also, we got the OG pre randan tee right here, looking pretty good. We're actually gonna be doing an updated one with the F-150 pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you, check it out. Terra Krug store right here, boom. What's up everybody, it's your dude Black Hat here, coming at you with a new merch drop. Check this out. We have reprinted the ever popular Bronco T. It's now available at theterracrew.com. So go get you one. Everybody loves a good black tee with a white print. Look at that Bronco. Sweet. Go get you some. Treat yourself. Gary is one of my longtime friends. Love this guy. Big part of Terra Crew. Big part of why we do what we do. Garrett's here. 75 degrees. 85 degrees. <laughs> Just kidding. It's beautiful out here, man. Such good weather. Dude, how nice is that? That was pretty smooth. Not Damn, gone. dude, Not that was dancing. Looking like a cheetah in the wild. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Nope. All right, we got Garrett. Nice little squat. Fuck, dude. You guys okay? Here. Yeah. Here. Just cover it, you're fine. Just put it there. What year is it? 69, 69. Huh? All right, come on, we got you, buddy. You're all right. Let Papa Black get you. He's calling me. Garrett, you're a diehard, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. No problem. It, Garrett takes awesome bangers, but they're I, called, I, they're called heaters. Now. Oh, my bad, my bad. Zzz, yeah. Heaters. Met each other, you yeah. Know, I think at like an expo or something. Yeah. And uh, you know, we started from there, and I've pretty much been here since day one with Terra Crew. BFFs, Woo right here. Did we just become best friends? Yep. I love this guy so much. He was in my wedding. That's right. Very good guy. Which and I still haven't seen the pictures of. But no, those are mine. You'll never see them. <laughs> we can't just stop now. It's bad boy for life. I think it's time to talk about this truck. Let's, let's cut into it. Let's go. So this truck. It's a 2013. It was built by Missoula Off-Road for Patrick Clark. Uh, he's a short course racer. Patrick Clark came in hot, trying to make the move on Adler. You know, back then when it was built, that was like goals. So at the time in 2013, when this was built, I had a 2012. So I started building that truck, ended up actually selling that truck to get married. Sorry, babe. Um, <laughs> and, to get uh, married. <laughs> but y'all don't say that. I think Patrick had it for, I don't know, a couple years, and then he ended up selling it to somebody. I'm not exactly sure who it was, but that person he sold it to had it for like six years and didn't drive it. So fast forward again, I had the GMC that I built. I was actually eyeballing another truck that I really wanted to buy that actually didn't work out so I was, and during that time i was trying to sell my gmc and so i had a couple people interested this ended up popping up on race desert as i was interested in that other truck crazy yeah that's great so, cra crazy timing so when so when this popped up i was like holy crap like that's that truck that you know missoula built back in 2013. i hit the dude up and you know he it was it was for sale you know or best offer so i you know i threw him an offer luckily that week i was able to sell my truck i shot 
the dude that owned this truck a text and was like, dude, I will be there this weekend with the cash. Like, I'm serious. Shut up and take my money. And Nick Gardner and his family came out and we made a weekend out of it in Vegas. So that's nice. where the dude lived. And you guys are from? San Diego. So we're, we're located in SoCal, San Diego. So it was, you know, five hour drive, but at 1 million percent worth it. There was already so much good stuff done to this truck that I didn't really need to do much. Um, Missoula killed it, you know. In the detail. Yeah, the detail, you know, the, the custom spec shocks that are actually engraved with the Missoula logo on the top. I did a lot of cosmetic stuff. So the front grill, I upgraded to the 2500 HD grill and 2500 uh, HD hood as well. It had a black skid plate, I polished that. Just kind of changed up the look, to, like I said, to make it my own. Wrapped the roof, gloss black. You know, did a lot of Linex. Dallas over at uh, Linex San Diego dialed me in with, you know, pretty much the best stuff out there, I think, for, you know, bed coatings and different coatings. You can pretty much coat anything with that stuff. The wheels actually used to be flat black. They had a white beadlock around there, and it was just a little bit too much, you know, white and black going on. I did a Cadillac gray, and then did the black beadlock around it, so. A lot of detail with just, like, mainly the color stuff, but you're not mentioning any of the suspension because it was all dialed. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so it was yeah. a turnkey truck. I mean, I've always, you know, built you know, all the stuff from, you know, pretty much a stock vehicle and it, it kept snowballing and then selling and then selling and then buying. And I just, I wanted something that was turnkey that I know was super reliable. I'm glad I'm at where I'm at with this truck right now, as far as it being, you know, it's, it's my daily. But I know, I personally know how capable this truck is. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely know how capable this truck is. I was, I was feeling a little, uh, heartfelt for James and I knew he wanted to drive something out in Pismo last year and uh, he, I saw him kind of crying a little bit in the corner so I said here's the keys. Look it wasn't a little bit it was a lot. <laughs> well, let's start right there. So I gave him the keys and said hey I'm gonna grab a couple pictures of my own truck so go ahead and send it so. I got to first hand drive this thing and this thing is so powerful. We'll, we'll talk about the motor in a little bit. This thing is so fast, so dialed. It is, God, it's such a badass truck. It's, it's for what it is and for Dude. what I use it for, it is 100% perfect. Like I said, I upgraded to the 2500 grill and hood just to kind of give it that more aggressive look. Before I'm, it was? Just through a regular 1500 like standard grill and hood. Um, okay. the, the standard one isn't as raised, doesn't have like those kind of cow ends up there in the front. Oh, I remember that. It's it doesn't solid, have this, right? White, yeah. right? I actually upgraded to this grill before I upgraded to the hood. This piece actually clips into the 2500 hood. So when I had the 1500 hood, I just like got some JB Weld and made it work so to say okay it didn't really line up the best but it worked for the time being and then um dude it looks great cameron uh he's messing with his truck right now and going different routes so he told me he was going to sell his hood and i swooped it you know with the instant so i'm, I'm oh nice glad that that worked out and it was already white so i didn't have to paint it or wrap it or do nothing i've been telling everybody this i've never been a fan of chrome up until like a year or two ago the older i get the more i appreciate it too. it's it, it's like truck stop vibes but it's all coming back it looks <laughs> yeah. sick <laughs> yeah and i got in touch with kc good friends with them they got me dialed with the kc flex era fours so i have all those in there as well as the flex singles down here for the amber markers i had garrett corrosive build me a light bar right off the tabs that were already pre-existing. So he was able to work with that. And I like that little detailed horn right there. Yeah, I upgraded the horns. I just rewired them basically. I pulled the wires out of the, the factory ones and added some wire and mounted them kind of right off the core support right there. Okay, do you still have the cucaracha as the? I do. Okay. Um, I won't do it now. Okay, okay great, yeah. yeah. Karen's in the got it, got it, got it. You are not him, you are not him. As far as suspension goes, built by Missoula. <sighs> Yes, Chris uh, Missoula, man. Again, back in 2013, this is one of their uh, TIG welded kits. It runs the two and a half inch, uh, 10 inch coilover in the front, 3.0 10 inch bypass okay. billet tie rods, and it pulls uh, 17 inches of travel. It's got the fabricated spindles, all Heimden uniballed. 
and then obviously up here, they're obviously powder coated white. How much do you love that detail? I do love it. I mean, I know you do. I love it. I love it. I really wanted to get this thing fine tuned, so I hit up Down South Motorsports, Christian, DJ, Sunny. They got this thing dialed. I had them all, all pull all the shocks off, had them serviced, fluid seals, excellent, everything, and then we went out and fine tuned Plaster City uh, shortly after that. So it sucks. I don't have a lot of footage of this thing because I'm the one. You're the media guy. The footage, so. Yeah, it, trust me, this truck does hit the dirt. It's not a street queen. <laughs> yeah, no, It's dude. a street queen for a percentage of, you know, the time during uh, that it's not desert season. Dude, this so. thing is in the dirt so much, man. It's crazy. And then, you know, he's always with Mason and all the other SD Terra Crew boys, and they're always out there, man. Even you guys go on these crazy runs, yeah. right? Yeah. Even if it's and Nick Gardner. Random, random day trips. I mean, we're only, you know, an hour and a half down from the desert, so. Everybody's just shaking their fist right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an hour and a half. <laughs> You want to go to Placer? Cool, let's go. Make a day out of it. So, Dude, night runs. Down for the day. You know, yeah, there's hotels down there. Get it, grab a room or whatever. So. Well, where are you going today? Today we're actually going down to Placer for uh, Eisenhower's. They're going to be testing for Vegas Torino. Garrett actually shoots for our, our boys, uh, Chris and Nick, and he puts out some bangers, man. So that's pretty much the front suspension. Power plant, it is a 6.2 liter and it has the 6L90 transmission, so it's just like a smidge bigger than the 6L80. It has just a little bit more room for, you know, the internals and stuff like that. Headers, high flow cats. Can we peek? Intake, yeah. Is that cool? Let's well, do you it. you can see the headers right here. Dude, would you start it up too? There's nothing, nothing crazy under the hood visually. Well, no, that's cool. I, I, think, I think everybody appreciates the under the hood thing, you know? It's pretty quiet at idle. I think that just comes like, with like street daily dad vibes, right? Yeah. I mean, like you want it to be not so loud, but yeah. I mean, and when, you're, when you're works. on it, when you're at like four or five thousand RPMs, it's thing it screams, man. Room. Oh, I pump, 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 pump. There it is. There's that big bad boy right there. Nice trans. It's all clean in here, man. Thanks. Well, I mean, from cool, just dude. popping this up, it doesn't even look like anything crazy other than this back cross member right here. All right, man, so tell us about the wheels on uh, this so thing. The wheels, tires, 37 inch BFG, all terrain KO2s. That's like the ultimate pre runner tire right there, man. And and wheel package. Yeah. Gangsta. I just actually bought the KM3 37s. So I'll be putting those on. I was trying to get them on before I came over here, but didn't have enough time. So, um, nah, dude, this is this is great, dude. I love the all terrain, man. Yeah, such so, a killer tire. Uh, they're the Method 101 beadlocks, powder coated, kind of like gray with the gloss black ring. Willwood four piston brakes all the way around the whole truck. I actually have these Apex quick air release valve stems as well. I was wondering what that's all about. Yeah, that so looks really cool. you unscrew this guy and you pull this tab here, and this thing will go from 30 psi to. 10 psi in like five seconds very cool uh gm hubs uh, i'd like to upgrade those shortly to missoula i see these other you know this other yeah so we got so casey actually makes these uh their cyclones are that's what they're called and these are the v2s so they actually have interchangeable lenses i have them on clear right now so that way they're white i have red and amber that also pop on there oh and nice what's cool about these is that they're actually magnetic they're oh, really? pretty damn strong you can do it and it magnetizes up to anything that's metal. Yeah, and then it has uh, Cook's headers. You can see those kind of right there. Okay. Right past the brake yeah, there. Yeah, there Back down into Cook's high flow cats with a Magnaflow muffler. And it has uh, 488 gears in the back. I mean, it cruises, like I said, it's daily, so. Yeah. Want to head to the back of that thing? Yeah, so. Let's do it. It cruises at like 2,400 RPM at like 80 miles an hour, so it's it runs really well. Ooh, that's cool. On the freeway. Love the back of this thing, yeah, by the way, so it's dude. it's got the Missoula plated bumper in the rear. One of the other things I did, like I said, I had Dallas over at Linex. He coated. That looks really good, man. The whole top of the bumper here. It used to just be all white, so he added this here. And then he. Functional. Yeah, and then he did the whole top bed rails, did the entire bed. When I bought the truck, it was just white. Everything was white. There was nothing done in the bed. Oh, so we did all of this. We did the entire thing, yeah. It stops the vibration, I'm sure, to some yeah, extent, right? Absolutely. And then it kind of quiets things down a little bit. Yeah, and then, you know, you're throwing so much stuff back here, you know, you're not having to worry about scratching your bed, and then, yeah. you know, and then it rusts, and it just doesn't look good. Missoula also built these transmission cooler mounts right here, just bolts up straight to the factory, you know, bed rail here. KC rear chase bar. I had Christian Ewing from Down South Motorsports. He's also a fabricator and made me these tabs here for this light bar that just bolts straight into 
the existing holes there. Right on Wings World, right? Yes, yes. Uh, well, his fabrication is uh, Vital Designs. Okay. And then they have Wings World. They do all the videos and stuff like that. So awesome. Really good dudes. I mean, between shock tuning and fabrication, those guys are young dudes that know what they're doing. So then what else? I added a couple E-Track mounts here. So the whole point of having the cantilever system, which we'll get into, is the fact that I'm able to utilize my entire bed space for anything I want. And then I got the fire extinguisher over there. This there is, is a white one, of course. Uh, Has to be. And then Harbor Freight Jack. I had a powder coat white. Don't judge me. No, it's uh, tight, dude. <laughs> He's crazy. It's sitting in a solo motorsport built for the Harbor Freight Jack. So this sits right in there. It's bolted in the bed. Nice. It's not going anywhere. I've done plenty of trips with this thing and it stays working. Stays pretty good. Oh, yeah. This is a power tank that I have mounted right here for airing down, you know, in the desert. This is a quick way to, without having to go to the gas station to air the tires back up, I just hook up my hose to this, you know, fill it up before every trip. Like I said before, this whole system is pretty much, I mean, it's a lot more work than your typical, you know, bed cage with your bike, you know, 16 inch bypasses. It's got a Curry semi-float three and a half inch housing with 48 gears in there. It's got the Missoula cantilever setup utilizing 3.0 10 inch bypass shocks with their whole their whole system back here. So really the whole point of this is to utilize your entire bed. There's really no advantage or disadvantage between running, you know, your standard bed cage with your shocks versus this. This is just a clean way to do it. Kind of sleeper. Super sleeper. I know like back, you know, F1 cars, I think run like cantilever setups, you know, just because of the space that they have, they want to try to keep it compact. So this is kind of how they do it. Pulls 17 inches of travel in the back. I think it's built for 18, but it's at 17 right now. Utilizes the Missoula shackles and hangers up here. Deaver U182s. And then we got King 2.0 bump stops over there going through the frame rails. You know, this truck is perfect how it is. It works in the whoops. It, you could send the crap out of it. Cut back to my jump. And drive it to work and have AC and cruise, you know? I think, you know, the only thing I definitely want you to get is a cage if you're gonna keep driving Absolutely. like that yeah, or letting me I, drive I it. Definitely, you know, I don't, I don't overdo it, you know? And a lot of the times I have my kids with me, I definitely don't overdo it, you know, for the fact that I don't have a cage. I don't want to mess that whole situation up, right. so. But again, it's such a well-working truck exactly. already. So, exactly. I mean, maybe cage and, and leave it how it is, but dude, I love this truck, man. You, you're cru you crushed it. Thanks, I mean, man. they crushed it they and did, you've yeah. taken it to that next clean a level. Bit of, yeah, a little and, bit. And, just I, I try to update it to you know current times as and it's as not sitting in the garage it's out here in the desert I'm you know it. yeah it, hell yeah it's, it's it's definitely being used for for what it's built for yeah so that was the other thing too that we didn't really get into i mean like i said this truck didn't get driven for six years so it's it's a time capsule I it's mean, freaking pristine so dude. when i bought this truck in 2021 it was so eight years old and it had just broken 30,000 miles. Oh my gosh. So I'm, I'm just hitting 50 right now and it's, you know, almost 10 years old and this truck runs so good, very strong. We had it on the dyno over at LS Fest and it put down <laughs> three, three seventeen to the wheels on, you know, 37s with, with this, with this motor. So whoa, it's probably four high 400s to the crank okay which is you know really good the leather black leather everything like no rips no tears like dude it doesn't look like you have a child at all <laughs> you know? i cleaned it up a little bit okay all the milk and stuff you know <laughs> you, you got you got a couple gummy bears out yeah. of the sea little crackers um so, but yeah man, i mean it's 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 a perfect truck man I, I like i've told a few people this like you could offer me a hundred grand for this truck and i would not sell it like 120 straight up nope 150 maybe <laughs> okay Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> this truck is like kind of sentimental. It's been a truck that I've always wanted to build myself, and I, you know, loved it back then, and I love it now, and it's mine. I, I wouldn't sell it unless I, for whatever reason, absolutely had to. So right. this truck's gonna be in the in the game for a while. So yeah. I wouldn't want to trade this for anything. Like, yeah, if I had the money, obviously you could buy anything, but. Oh. You know, I don't have the money, so this is what I have, and I don't want to get rid of it. So, hell yeah, I'm gonna make this work, and you know, slowly start, you know, putting the money into the to the back. You know, once I get something else to drive, and I'm able to actually tow this thing out and cage it, and actually, you know, drive it harder. So I, it's I love it, dude. It's perfect, man. I, I love this thing. Got the rugged M1 uh, radio in here, just you know, cleanly mounted right under the dash. It fits perfect. Got the magnetic here with the mob armor mount there over here i have my switch pros that i mounted kind of right in the corner so that kind of controls all my lights and everything i do want to probably i'm going to be going probably prp seats like don't get me wrong these factory leather seats are amazing uh for especially for daily driving but being off-road 
you slide around a lot. I mean, yeah. you guys know the people that actually, you know, go out there. You need something to contain yourself with either a harness or a, a better, you know, quality race seat. I'm gonna be going with the PRP recliners just to kind of keep that daily feel and still have them contain me and still utilize the factory seat belt. And then, you know, down the road when I do cage it, I can get, you know, an actual bucket seat and mount that with the harnesses and everything. Yeah, yeah right now it's completely stock and it's, it's good, man. I Hell like yeah. It. Well, right on, man. Thank you so much for sharing. It, it only took us like a year or more to get yeah. you to do this episode. Yeah. You know, you asked me right when I bought it, let's do the episode. And I was like, no, dude. Like, I got to change this. I got to change, change it that. up. I got to make it mine. I got to do everything that I want to do to it, you know. Well, if you guys knew Garrett and, and Maggie, I call her Mary Lou. I love that awesome chick she's like my sister she's they're, great they're very specific about the way they do things and and i love that about them and and i, and I respect that man you wanted the truck to be yours before yeah. you know you made it public so all right guys well thank you guys so much for checking out this episode we are so stoked you guys got to come here check it out if you guys have any questions for garrett his instagram gx spice we'll also put that right here too and then and if you guys have any questions about any other products he's going to be running on this thing please hit him up let us know in the comments what you guys think of this truck yeah if there's uh, anything else that i haven't touched base on there might be a few things just hit me up or you know hit us up in the comments on the youtube channel so heck yeah all right well thank you guys so much take it easy don't forget to stop by the store and support our rag Giddy asses. <laughs> we try to make it. Yeah, hell yeah, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye. Right. You guys okay? You okay? Okay. <laughs> That's your phone. Yeah. Get your leg out. Get your leg out. Okay, can you see your hand?